Curtis is, he knows everything, and yeah. Alan knows everything. And Samuel knows and Samuel everything. And Samuel knows everything. I'm the host. If you have any uh, questions or issues or whatever, need something done, talk to me. I'm the guy who runs around and does runs the errands. Uh, I want everybody to be safe. If you're around anyone grinding, please wear safety glasses. Uh, you know, we're in the middle of this COVID thing, so it's up to you to keep your distance or wear a mask or whatever, and not everybody feels the same way as you do necessarily. So if somebody's off to the side, leave them to the side, just be courteous and uh, have fun. It's gonna be a busy, busy two days, so uh, be prepared for a long day. Yep. And Curtis will give a little talk about what we're gonna do and assigning jobs and so forth, and everybody will have a job. Yeah. All right, so <clears throat> he mentioned about the, making sure you're wearing your safety glasses when you're grinding. When you grind, also pay attention. I see it a lot. Somebody just starts grinding and their sprays going all over somebody else in their face or on some of the work. Pay attention to where your spray is going and try to keep your grinding outside if you can. And if you can't keep it outside, at least get it by the door. Because we don't, we, don't, we don't need to park. We're gonna keep this center area kind of clear. It's gonna get crowded up in a little bit, but pay attention to that. So there'll be a lot of grinding. Uh, We've got a very specific purpose today to get the frames built, all the frames. And we're gonna identify some key people that are gonna be working on it and that'll be the core. And then as we go, we'll start picking up jobs for everybody else as we go. There's lots of grinding and cleaning up jobs to do. And uh, we've got this thing down to a system. Doesn't mean everything we're gonna do is perfect, but it's a, it's a system. And we'll follow it and uh, everything will come out fine. Uh, one thing you'll notice, if there's things on the floor, like a rock or something else, a piece of steel, just pick it up, toss it outside, or put it in the garbage can and fix it. Just to keep the floor clean so that as we're moving, we don't run into things. There's a few, we got a few repeats in this class, so people that know, we're gonna be working hard, we're gonna be, it's gonna be hard to keep off of everybody when you go. So if you don't have something to do, clean something up, put it down, there's no job that's too good for anybody here, and uh, we're gonna work hard. We're gonna work two days, 14 hours a day, and we need to keep busy. And it's not a lot of huddling up and chit chat. We'll do that late at night. So, that being said, have fun.
made you miss. <laughs> Only after I noticed that you were filming. What task is this? This is the, I'm doing the, the bearings, packing the bearings and uh, gotcha. putting the seals in for the, for the back bearing and then the other one is going to have the cap going on it. So there's a finished one over there.
never stop. Right. Morning. I'm just about five minutes, I'm starting to quench. Okay, because we're not ready yet. We gotta put some heads back in and got them packing.
We're actually doing some forging today. <laughs> if I would have had my fire, I could have done that all solar. I've got a little gizmo. You, know. you hear, John? You got to you make a round stock. You can't do square stock. You can't do square. Yeah. Congrats, Brian. You want to turn them all around? You want me to we had a kid do it last night. He put a little twist in it. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, you know. <laughs> kind of fancy up there in Colorado. So what's been your favorite part of the uh, tire hammer class? I mean, like I said, I you know, this is the kind of stuff I enjoy doing on my own. But it's nice to get together with a bunch of like-minded people and just problem solve, work things out, you know, getting to, to discuss and learn new things and not just be like, you know, getting to do what I love, but getting to share it with other people. It's definitely theme community come together working with everybody you know you're out here with guys that have been doing this for like 300 years <laughs> when one of those shows up and gives you a compliment you're like oh thanks man like that'll, that'll keep you going i mean i can echo what they said but i also got a back rub from brian mcgill last night so. oh, yeah. <laughs> you win you win i got a video of it too <laughs> i'm just out on the back rub <laughs> about you what'd you like about it not the back rope. Oh, uh, not the back rope. No. <laughs> Same thing, man. Rope. Build machines. I took part in that. Build, build, I got video. Build machines, a bunch of people. Great. Make sure Nancy checks your name off. I'm just going to call your name down the list. Some people okay. have registered under aliases, it seems. <laughs> but, uh, so if you hear your alias, come get it. And just, uh, I sure hope I get number 13. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Whoever gets 13. Hey, I'll leave that as an offer. If anybody gets 13, I'll spend time with it. <laughs> Come on up if you paid and Scott, you get well, the number. Scott Paraloo. Scott, yes. It's not Paraloo, it's Paraloo. I said Paraloo. He's got to add some names. Oh, that's the end. Paraloo. 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 13. Oh, no. <laughs> he doesn't want to be related. Mike, okay. Mike. If it did seize up, if you ran it without oil and seized up, more than likely when it cools down, it's going to move. If you've got to drop it out, you're going to take these guys out here, out here, drop that out. If you, yeah, well, if you, well, you